Hi, my name is Maura Charles, and I'm an independent consultant and work in the product space. My company is called Keep It Human. So in my practice, I'm really focused on the human aspect of technology work. And so that's employees, that's the users and customers who may be engaging with your products. And part of the reason I went independent is so that I could focus on that piece of the work and that I could really dig into teamwork and cross-functional collaboration and all of those things that make technology products great. One of the skills that's really important to bring when you're a digital and technology consultant is ability to do root cause analysis. Identifying what's really happening at a company. So looking at, looking underneath and kind of asking the right questions and, and trying to understand what the real challenges are so that you can support the organization in that way. Some of the challenges and kind of mindset challenges, I would say, that organizations have around digital transformation are that a lot of them are still stuck in a waterfall mindset. Um, and they think that they're agile, but really they still rely on launch dates and roadmaps that have dates on them for specific features getting launched. And that's, that's not a way to really innovate. Uh, you can't innovate if you're always planning, you know, a year or two ahead. And the other, which is related, is really embracing a concept of MVP, of a minimum viable product, something that you can put out into the world as an experiment, see how people respond to it, and gather data before you really build, build a full-fledged version of it. Because if you go all in on that waterfall project and it's not successful, now you've burned time, you've burned money, and you've got people who are probably going to be frustrated that the thing that they spent so much time on wasn't successful. And so those are all mistakes that can really hurt an organization's transformation. Some of the skills that are really important in digital road mapping are number one, product mindset. That's, uh, it's something that not everybody has. A lot of people have it and don't know what it's called, but um, having a product mindset and being able to, um, to use that in your work and to flex that skill, that's something that's really important. Um, another is the ability to analyze the landscape, the competitive landscape, what's out there, what are other people doing, um, and what kind of data do we have? What kind of data do we have internally? What kind of data does the industry have? Um, and understanding how, how all of that could potentially impact what it is you want to build um, or how you want to transform your organization. So input, lots and lots of input. And the third thing is really human skills. So this is an area that I'm passionate about, but using emotional intelligence and having um, the ability to kind of see the interpersonal impact of work and uh, work streams and the way that the teams that are building these products interact is, is so critical to success on these projects. And when you see when you see roadblocks, when you see challenges in digital transformation, there is very often some human element that is causing the block. And um, if companies don't deal with those challenges, they often don't get to where they, to the outcomes that they want in their transformation. So as part of a digital transformation, one project that I worked on recently required road mapping for a full year. And often you have to you have to have a roadmap for a year. What I have really started to do is to use goal-driven roadmaps. And so that instead of think saying, well, we're going to launch this in this quarter and we're going to do this in this quarter, I really think about what's happening at an organization, understanding what their short and long-term goals are, and then build a roadmap around goals and KPIs and potentially OKRs if an organization uses OKRs, and that that is actually how you form a roadmap. These goal-driven roadmaps can really help you adjust your focus as you are growing, as you're scaling, as you're figuring out where your business is going. But what it does is it helps your teams really understand why you do things. Now, if you just build a roadmap where you have a bunch of features on it, your engineering team is going to be like, what is all this? And why are we doing this? And why does it matter? But if you say to the entire organization, our goal this quarter is conversion and almost everything we do Almost everything that these teams build is going to be about around conversion and helping our users convert and getting them, you know, over over that, then everybody understands.